Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another Blender tutorial. Um, well, this is not exactly a tutorial. Um, I just wanted to show you something really cool, a new feature in Blender. I don't know if it was included in two, uh, Blender 2.63, but uh, I believe it is definitely in 2.64. <laughs> Um, and this feature is included in uh, a sculpting mode. Um, this new feature, uh, which uh, that I'm referring to, is uh, the mas masking feature in sculpt mode. Uh, this is a feature that, that kind of persuaded me to go ahead and switch from uh, using hexagon. 2.5 over to uh, Blender. So let's go ahead and uh, let me just show you how that works. Let's just take a look at it. Uh, just go ahead and use this cube and we'll add uh, multi res and we'll just go ahead and apply several. <clears throat> subdivisions there and let's go ahead and go on over to sculpt mode and let's just use uh, the clay brush let's uh, go ahead and turn on um, a different lighting setup to help us see uh, what's going on a little bit better um, this add-on here is quick preferences. Uh, I did a video on that if uh, uh, you haven't s seen that and you'd like to uh, add, put this add-on in. It can really help you in uh, sculpt mode. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, if, leave a comment and if you need uh, I can put a link in the description. So anyway, um, I'm going to just, I've got a clay brush here, and I'll just sculpt on that a little bit. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, uh, masking to access that, uh, you just uh, hit the M on uh, your keyboard. Um, of course you have your typical radius and strength settings um, so with the masking uh, turned on I'm just gonna paint a mask around this little area I just sculpted um, also the higher your resolution is on your object the uh, finer the mask will be Let's go ahead and uh, just flatten this off here. And what masking does is allows you to uh, sculpt on part of your geometry. And uh, wherever your mask is at, that those uh, that geometry will not be touched. Um, down here on uh, the toolbar, you have the options to clear your mask. Uh, fill the mask and invert mask so let's go ahead and control Z that and invert it so now uh, we can go in here and just kind of uh, I haven't played with this a lot but uh, masking can really be a super useful feature. Uh, let's say you're sculpting a uh, human or whatever you could sure use it to uh, uh, mark out your uh, I'll put markers on your on let's say it's a character model you could uh, put markers for your eyes and your ears and so on and so forth. Uh, but remember that uh, M is the hotkey to activate your masking. Uh, really, really cool. 
sorry, I don't really know what much what to uh, show you on it, um, but at least you know it's going to be there in uh, 2.64. Really, really, really awesome feature. Uh, I could really be used well in uh, uh, maybe to aid in some uh, uh, hard surface sculpting. And I'm just kind of playing around here. That's all I'm doing. Um, but that's about it. That's about all I can show you for now. As I learn more, I uh, will uh, share those things with you. So that's going to do it for this. Have a great day.